Square is everywhere. In your house, at school, in the church, at the park, malls, stores, comfort rooms, and even in mobile games. Wherever you go, whenever you look around, Square is everywhere! Because of its regular shape, having four equal sides and four equal angles, Square can be an easy tool for symmetry in constructions, buildings, graphs, and visuals. And because of the symmetry, we can easily find the value of its sides or the value of its area given one of its sides. Square is everywhere! Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Charmaine, and welcome to another episode of Is It Nayan? Today, we'll be teaching you another skill in factoring polynomials. And that is factoring perfect square trinomial. But before we do that, let's take a look back on the square root of a number. Can you guess the square root of the following numbers? Right, that's 7. Correct, that's 5. Six is the right answer. The square root of 16 is 4. You're doing good. Yes, 3 is its square root. Correct, that's 2. One of the common problems being asked about square is the measure of its area and the measure of its dimensions. We all know that the area of a quadrilateral is obtained by multiplying its length and its width. But for a square, we simply find the square of one of its sides. For example, we have a square garden with length equal to 5 units. To find its area, we simply multiply 5 by itself. Therefore, the area is 25 square units. For an area with a known value of sides, let's say x, we simply multiply x by itself. Therefore, the product is x squared. For the area of a square with polynomial sides, such as x plus 3, we simply multiply the expression by itself, having x plus 3 times another x plus 3. Through FOIL method, the product will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. This product is called perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is the result of squaring a binomial. if the only given is the area and not the measure of its sides? Would it be possible to find its dimensions? The answer is yes. For monomials such as a square tile with an area of 25 square centimeters, we simply find its square root. Thus, the dimensions are 5 centimeters both for its length and width. But for areas represented by a perfect square trinomial, such as x squared plus 6x plus 9 square units, we follow some simple steps. A perfect square trinomial has first and last terms which are perfect squares and the middle term which is twice the product of the first and last terms. Let us use x squared plus 6x plus 9 for example. The first and last terms are perfect squares, with x and 3 as their square roots. Twice the product of these roots is equal to 6x, which is actually our middle term. If these conditions are met, then the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. Is the first example clear enough? If not, let's try figuring out another one. 
Is y squared plus 14y plus 49 a perfect square trinomial? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. The first term y squared and last term 49 are both perfect squares. The square root of y squared is y. The square root of 49 is 7. Twice the product of 7 and y is equal to the middle term 14y. Let's practice. Can you tell which among these trinomials are perfect square trinomials? Alright, x squared plus 14x plus 49, b squared minus 2bc plus c squared, and a squared minus 12ab plus 36b squared are all perfect square trinomials. Now that you know how to determine whether a trinomial is a perfect square or not, let us try to find the dimensions of a square through factor. In finding the dimensions of a square given its area in polynomial, first, we simply find the square root of the first and the last terms. Secondly, list down the square root as a sum or difference of two terms, as the case may be. Let's take a look at this square stall in a mall. Let's say that the area of this stall is represented as n squared plus 16n plus 64 square meters and we wanted to find its dimensions. Since n squared and 64 are both perfect squares and twice the product of its roots is equal to 16n, then the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. The square root of the first term is n and the square root of the last term is 8. The polynomial is factored as the square of n plus 8. Therefore, the dimensions are n plus 8 meters and n plus 8 meters. It's that easy. Now, let us try another example in finding the dimensions of square. Given the area in polynomial as 4r squared minus 12r plus 9 square centimeters, let us find the measure of its perimeter. In solving this kind of problem, we must first factor the given polynomial. Since 4r squared and 9 are both perfect squares, with 2r and 3 as their square roots respectively, and twice the product of these roots is equal to the middle term 12r, then the given expression is a perfect square trinomial. Thus, the factor is the square of 2r minus 3, following the sign of the middle term in the trinomial. In finding the perimeter, we use the formula p equals 4s, substituting 2r minus 3 to s and multiplying it by 4 through distributive property the perimeter is 8r minus 12 centimeters. Let's practice factoring a perfect square trinomial.
area of a perfect square trinomial can also be factored using algebra tiles. This square tile represents a perfect square trinomial divided into three columns and three rows. The bigger square tile represents x squared. The rectangular tiles represent x, thus we have 4x. Each of the smaller square tiles represent constant 1, thus having 4. Therefore, the square represents x squared plus 4x plus 4 square units. The length of the first column is equal to 1x. The length of the second column is equal to 1. The length of the third column is also equal to 1, which means that its length measures x plus 2 units and its factors are x plus 2 and x plus 2. You could also practice factoring through algebra tiles using your own examples. Try to explore and you'll discover more in algebra. And we are done learning perfect square trinomial and how to factor them. We hope that you enjoyed learning through this video. See you again next time here on Easy Bye!